Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you for watching. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day today so far. Um, I'm just been loaded um, and I'm on my way to Steventon. Steventon, Steventon, yeah, Steventon. Postcode is Ox OX136AJ. Couldn't see that then. Yeah. Um, this job could be interesting because I've just been uh, told, well, and because it says on the paperwork, six wheeler requested. Now, uh, anybody who doesn't know what a six wheeler is, basically, um, this is a lorry. <laughs> and a six wheeler has uh, three axles. You've got one at the front and then two at the back. And they call that a six wheeler, even though it actually has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wheels in total. But they call it a six wheeler. I drive an eight wheeler, so I got, instead of three axles, I've got four axles. I've got two at the front and two at the back. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 wheels in total, even though it's called an eight wheeler. It's, it's a bit weird. Um, so basically I'm longer and I carry more weight in total than what a six wheeler would. Um, I've got 16 ton on me, which is the maximum weight a six wheeler can carry. Um, I can carry a, a total weight of 20 ton um, on top of whatever the lorry weighs as well. So it could be interesting. Normally they only ever only ever request a six-wheeler if it's tight roads. However, looking at the map, um, it didn't look too tight. It looks it looks like a piece of piss to get to. You go up the M4, get off at Newbury, on the on the A34 for a few miles, and then you just bear left. It looks a piece of piss to get to. The only thing it could be is if it's a new road they've built and it's very tight to get around the corners, which is uh, is a high potential possibility. Um, and then the only other thing that's just popped into my head is maybe they requested a six-wheeler because a six-wheeler can only hold 16 ton, so it will stay warmer for longer. Don't know. Either way, we're, uh, we're going to make our way there now, and um, I'll reconvene with you shortly just before we get there. So, see you in a bit. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. So, um, we are well on our way now. We're, we're actually nearly here. Uh, we've just got to get off the A34 at this junction and then uh, just a mile down the road pretty much. So we're not far away. The um, the winds today, man, they are strong. Like, it's just like it's blowing me off the road, do you know what I mean? I'm a little bit concerned because in the moment, when I get to sight, I'm going to have to um, obviously tip my body up. And I'm not entirely sure what to expect when I tip the body up. Obviously, if I do, and the winds are higher up, uh, the stronger, the higher you go, then it's going to push the body. And um, like I said, I've never really experienced high winds with my body up, so it's going to be a new experience. It's going to be a new experience, yes it is. Uh, am I going left or right when I get down here? I need to know so I get in the right lane. We're going left. I don't want to get in the right-hand side lane when I need to go left, or get in the left-hand side lane when I need to go right. You want to get in the right lane the right time. <laughs> so the plan for day, today then is to, uh, we've got to do this. So we're, we're going to a place called Steventon. Uh, we have 16 tonne of six mil, um, which is going to be um, shoot work for paths. So it's going to, like I said, it's going to involve me tipping up the body. They're going to be opening up my sheets and putting it into a wheelbarrow and then hand laying it. I'm down for an hour and a half. I expect it would be two hours probably. Um, after this, I've then got to drive back to Isaac Manor Quarry. So it's just over an hour's drive there. And then I've got to do a Reading. So I've done a Reading loads of times. You've seen me do Reading loads of times as well. About an hour to Reading, about an hour back. So if all goes to plan, um, could be in the yard by four o'clock again today, which is fantastic. I do like these early finishes. When work starts picking up again, I expect I won't be back until five, six, some days. But over Christmas, we've been back before four o'clock pretty much every day. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to the summer because I want it to be hot, which is weird because I never used to like hot weather, but driving in the sun is amazing. Windows down. 
you know, sleeves up, sunglasses on, music on, just chill out. What I don't like about the summer is that, obviously, like, it's, it stays lighter for longer. So the workmen kind of lose track of time and they might think, oh, yeah, we've got loads of time left. It's actually fucking seven o'clock at night, mate. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it has happened. It definitely has happened. That and the fucking bumblebees that come out and the wasps and all that sort of shit. Fucking hate insects. I literally, I shit myself. I've, I have genuinely stopped on the M5 on the hard shoulder to get rid of a wasp that was on my steering wheel. I was trying to stare like this and it was just crawling closer and closer to each hand. That fucking shit me out. I had to pull over on the hard shoulder and fucking <laughs> get it out. Because I would, I probably would have crashed if it hit me or if it stung me. So, um, yeah, I fucking hate insects. There's a lot of traffic here. Of course, you've got Didcot to the right, so everyone's trying to get into Didcot. And you've got the Milton place as well, haven't you? I've done a bit of work in Milton. It's like a business centre or something. It's a massive industrial area with like loads of buildings. Done loads of time out down there. As soon as we get off this roundabout, we should hopefully start moving again. It's only a mile up the road. It actually rings a bell. I don't think I'm going to a building site because it doesn't say anything on my paperwork about it being a building site. As in, it doesn't say what the uh, company is called. Normally, when you go to a building site, it would say who the maker is, like, for example, David Wilson Homes or Bovis or anything like that. But it doesn't say anything about um, homes or anything like that. It just says Barnet Road, Steventon. Um, the company is Kelly MV Limited. I've I've been with Kelly MV Limited for a while. Um, well, I've known of them for a while. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're dickheads. I remember that there was one place where I phoned them up and I was like, "Well, where are you?" And they said, "Well, just come find us." So they didn't even help me. So that was a bit bit naughty of them. Hopefully, we can find them all right. There's a green light down there. Is that truck stopping us? Yeah. Green light turns to orange. Right, well, rather than watch me in traffic, I think I'll wait until I get past these lights and then uh, reconvene with you guys then. Right, good news, bad news. Well, it's just bad news, really. We're still here at the traffic lights. <laughs> I suppose the good news is we're going to be next to go. Come on, turn green. What's he doing? Maybe he's going that way. There's a car over there that's in the wrong lane trying to get in. This car on the right might try and cut in front of me. Beep him because he can't see the lights ahead. Oh, cheers for that, mate. <clears throat> he must have been in the wrong lane. Or was he? No, I don't think he was. I think he was in the right lane for that. He couldn't see the lights, though, because uh, the bus was covering them and he'd gone past his line. Right, we're on our way. <laughs> Fucking traffic. I suppose you get used to it, don't you? The more you drive, the more you get used to traffic. You have to kind of just get used to it. If you don't, then uh, you're going to be hating your job. Right, so we need to make a right here. I'm assuming it's blocked off. Uh, traffic lights, that's right. So we do indicate right. My seat has got quite fucking squeaky again. 
Um, I mean, the good news is I've still got some WD-40, so I'll be uh, spraying that on later when we've stopped. This place does ring a bell. There's a Linden Homes down here, the Pritchins. The more and more closer I get to this place, the more and more I think it is a building site. Even though it doesn't say anything on the paperwork about it being so, I'm pretty sure there is one down here. Well, that sign says there is. But I'm pretty sure I've been to one down here. We'll find out in a sec, won't we? Of course it's uh, 9 o'clock at the moment, so it's kind of rush hour traffic in a way. Lots of people trying to get in and out of work. Oh, something just flew into the window. Do, 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 do. Turn green. Turn green. Turn green. Turn green. And don't any of you motherfuckers block me up either. Turn green, please. <laughs> Fucking traffic lights. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Turn green. It listened to my call and it turned green. Right, the sun is quite bright, isn't it? Where are you? Is that a learner? That's a learner lorry driver there, probably on his test actually. Pretty sure there's a test centre around here. And they normally get them to stop on hills. I had to stop on a hill when I was doing my test, and then you got to pull away about going backwards. Piece of piss, mate. Piece of piss. Right, this place does not look familiar now. I don't recall seeing this bridge. Or did I? <laughs> I can't remember now. Remember, they requested a six wheeler, remember? So, it could be some tight roads coming up. Or it could be nothing. We need to make a left, but not there where that grey car is. And again, Linden Homes is down here. Apparently on the right. Well, that's where the sat-nav's taking me anyway. Road works there. Who's it, MV Kelly? Kelly MV. My sat-nav is saying, turn right down here. Barnet Road. Yeah, it's a home site building site. Which is not the best of news because it could be quite tight down here. But there's another tar uh, lorry there. I was going to nearly say the company that I work for. There's another lorry there that I uh, work for the same company I work for. And it's Craig. I know who Craig is. <laughs> He's putting his fingers up at me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop here for now. Um, if I can get him to go forward a bit. Can you go forward a bit? Go forward a little bit, a little bit, a little bit forward. 
I get on with Craig. It's just I'm on the apex and no one can really get past me. That a date. Right, so, um, I will find out what's happening because I expect he's got the first load then, has he? No idea. And uh, when I know what's happening, I'll be right back. Right, so we're, we're here on site. Just found out what's happening. So Craig's got three ton on um, or base. I've got 16 ton on of 6 mil. And um I need to get the trains first. I think we've got a mine. And they're not overly happy by the looks of it because of the uh we don't want it here straight away. So um unfortunately they've got a lot of work that needs to be doing. So uh, it's very, very Because we're doing sheet work, I'm just going to get my sheets in, and then I'm going to lift the body up a little bit because uh, because on the way here I had to do a couple of hard breaks, so I need to lift the body up. Okay, that's that one. Um, I just need now. I've just got to go and get my. Um, pins now, so that's what I'm going to go and get. So these are the pins. good um, and now I just need to lift the body up and get the tarmac at the back of the body that's what I'm gonna do next right so we're uh, we're tipping now Craig's gone um, and we were parked over there we just basically we've drove forward and turned left uh, and then reverse back which is where we are now um, but hopefully they get a move on because I want to go and get loaded and then go to Reading I'm also hungry and I've not had any lunch. It's uh, half past ten nearly. And I've got, how long does it take back? About an hour to get back. So it's probably going to be gone 12 o'clock before I manage to stop off at some shops and get something to eat and I'm starving. I know I look like I'm starved, but... <laughs> we, um... I swear that bloke's already been here and that's his second dog. You might be able to see him on the dash cam. Right now. I swear that bloke's already come round here, but with a white dog. He's taking his dogs for a walk. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, we're, well, we're tipping. Uh, every time the wind picks up, it um, it blows blows them back. <laughs> and I'm going like left and right like this. So it's a little bit uh, a little bit scary. He's asking me to go up a little bit, so I'm going to go up a bit more. Yeah, it's a little bit scary when it starts blowing. Like I said, I've never really experienced high winds with my body up like this, but just now it was picking up. It's quieting down a little bit at the moment. But um, it was a little bit scary. Obviously, you've got no control in it. Is it going to tip me over before I can actually get it back down? What's the temperature? It's 11 degrees out. It's not. It's not cold out. It's just the wind is quite, quite hard. So um, they're all out there. 
with coats on because of the wind and I'm in here with the windows up, night heater on, nice and cosy like. <laughs> Not a care in the world. But um, the only problem with doing what I'm doing now, having the windows up, heated on, all of that, you can't really just sit down and do nothing and watch TV. You, can't, you have to keep an eye out on the window and what's going on around you. You have to do that anyway. But with my windows up, I can't hear them say lift the body up. So twice just now while on to you, they've asked me to put the body up and I'm still paying attention. So, yeah, it's one of those jobs where I can't really go on YouTube and watch YouTube videos because I need to concentrate on what these guys are doing. Unless I put the window down, then I can look at my phone and then hear them say go up. Big ass. Never mind. So after this, um, we will be going to Reading again. Right, uh, so we finished that job now and we're now on our way back to the base. Uh, unfortunately, there was an accident on the A34, um, which meant I was stuck in traffic for a little bit and I still needed to get my brake in. Um, so now it is quarter to three three yeah nearly quarter to three it's 20 to three now 20 to three at the moment and um i'm still more than half an hour away from from base now i'm supposed to be going to Isaac manor quarry to be uh delivering sand to, to redden but redden plant closes at four and it takes an hour to get to redden so i need to be out of Isaac manor before three o'clock at the moment it's saying i'm going to be there for 10 past three so um, I'm running a bit late, a bit behind the schedule. If I can't make up time, which to be honest, I don't think I can, I'll try anyway, then, um, then that's me for the day. Unless they got any local runs. But um, yeah, at the moment, I don't think uh, I'll have anything else to do after this. Unfortunately, and I haven't got much footage recorded either, so I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. I think it's gonna be a short one compared to normal. But then again, I'd done that poll the other day and it was kind of half and half. Some of you preferred long ones, some of you preferred short ones. So if, if that's the case, I'll do one short, one long, one short, one long, maybe a couple long, then one short. Do you know what I mean? I'll do that. That's the plan. Well, it is now anyway. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> there wasn't much to see today. My God, though, is the wind windy? I mean, obviously windy is windy, but... The, the amount of noise which is coming from outside is tremendous, mate. It's like so fucking noisy. I expect if I didn't have this mic on here, you probably won't even be able to hear me. That's how loud it is. Thank you. That light just flashed me in. Mr. B&Q, thank you very much. So yeah, we're on our way back to, back to the yard, I would have thought. I'll try and get to YZ. See if I can get there in time, but I don't think I will be able to. Uh, the only other thing really I wanted to talk about was yesterday. Um, uh, shall I tell you? Yeah, fuck it, I'll tell you. So Monday and Tuesday, um, I got banned from the place that we work for. So obviously I've, I've, I've explained before. Fuck it, look at this. Listen to that noise. Um, I work for a company who, um, I, again, I don't really want to name them, but I work, I work for, for a company, right? And this, the company I work for pays my wages, obviously, uh, and they own this truck. They then basically do work for another company. So it's, they're subcontracted. This other company is the company who produces and uh, essentially delivers the tarmac. Um, and we deliver the tarmac. Not just not just the company I work for, other companies as well do it. But there's this one massive company who delivers tarmac, and then there's loads of little companies who own the trucks and work for the big company, if that makes sense. Anyway, big company that we deliver for, Monday and Tuesday, uh, they gave me a 48 hour ban, which meant I wasn't allowed to load and unload or deliver on their behalf. And the reason they gave me a ban um, and it wasn't necessarily me they gave the ban to, it was the lorry, it was good old MAN here, this, this lorry that got the ban. And it was apparently because um, it was late 
uh, at least three times or something so far this year or something along those lines basically it had turned up late every now and then for its first job of the day um, now I, f I didn't find this out until um, Saturday I come in on the Saturday and one of the bosses at my company said you're banned from this company for 48 hours I was like alright oh, but he couldn't tell me why because he didn't know I didn't find out why until Monday afternoon when I called my big boss up and I said so why am I banned then from big company why am I banned and he said my boss he said big company said that I've been late three times but my boss on little company said it's a load of bollocks because he's looked at the tracker and uh, the times that they said when the lorry was late according to the tracker that's built into the to the lorry I was on site on time ready to be loaded so big company banned me for 48 hours little boss don't care because he says no it's 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 fine you weren't late there was one day where um, I had to take the day off like very last minute and uh, my boss couldn't get any cover that was it that's the only one he said that they really got us on so um, yeah I had a 48 hour ban the funny thing is though right and get this so big company bans me they then assume that my boss is losing out do you know what i mean like i would take the lorry off the off, off of our plants he can't operate our, our plants for 48 hours they're then thinking my boss has got no work shit you know my, they're thinking my, it's a punishment my boss is like nah it's fine we'll uh, we'll do some other work he's got a fleet of arctics and i was just doing arctic work i was driving this lorry this eight wheeler but doing the jobs that they would be doing so my boss didn't lose any money whatsoever. He was still making an income. The lorry still made money. I still worked Monday and Tuesday. But big big company had to get someone in from another plan. I think it was a Bristol plan. And they, they, they have to pay what's called a transfer fee. And it was, um, I think they paid like 120 quid, something like that. Just just to get this driver from Bristol over to Quigglade. So big company bans me for being late. Big company has to pay 150 quid or whatever it was for other drivers to come over my boss still makes money doing jobs elsewhere who lost out really <laughs> i mean big company did but never mind yeah um so monday tuesday i was banned uh for working for big company on the wednesday uh which was yesterday we had an inspection and um I knew about the inspection it was supposed to be secret no one was supposed to know about it and I rocked up and I and matey boy he was an old chap I didn't really know who he was I'd never seen him before um, and he goes oh young man we have an inspection on your lorry today this morning I was like yeah I know oh how do you know he's going <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna tell you how I found out but everyone knows like every driver knew about it and we knew it was happening on this day and so we knew to get everything ready which to be fair is ready anyway my paperwork's in that bag behind me down there it's like a, a blue bag don't know if you can see it all my paperwork's in there uh lorry passed the inspection as as a driver as a i personally scored top marks <laughs> so for big company as far as big company is concerned i am the ideal driver i got all my necessary qualifications and cards and licenses and all that I knew all the questions they asked me about policies and company rules and all that bollocks. So uh, as far as big companies concerned, I am an ideal driver. The only thing that let the lorry down a little bit was that it didn't, it hasn't got cameras on its wings, on the wing mirrors facing backwards. That's all. Um, That's all it really failed on. But overall it passed. So passed the inspection. We're unbanned now from big company, hence working today and yesterday as well. And uh, back on the road for big company. <laughs> So yes, that's been my week so far really, it's working for my boss Monday, Tuesday, inspection Wednesday and a bit of work Wednesday, very quiet day today, just the one job of, I think it's five hours hand lay in the end it worked out to be, uh, and then I don't know what's on the cards for tomorrow yet, won't find out until later on this evening, um, I haven't got work Saturday because I worked last Saturday for my boss, so that's all good all good and all dandy can't really moan i'd like to give the lorry a bit of a wash but um i might do that tomorrow or maybe tomorrow morning don't know yet but my gosh is that wind windy it is uh quite scary when you're tipping the body up that's for sure 
the uh, wind was blowing me like fuck. It's so loud, so loud. Right, anyway, um, that's going to do now then, for I think, for this video. We rambled on for nearly 10 minutes. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing and all that. Um, if you've clicked the link from my Facebook page to view this video, please share it. Share that link, let your friends know about it. Um, and if you haven't liked me yet on Facebook, go ahead, if you'd like to, go ahead and do it. Um, i got nearly 6,000 subscribers now on YouTube. Um, and 750 of you have liked me on Facebook. Obviously, there's loads more that haven't. It's completely up to you if you want to like my page, but as you can see on screen now, um, I do loads of behind the scenes pictures and videos and like just writing what I'm up to. Stuff that you're not going to see on YouTube. It's just for Facebook only. There's one of our guys there, look. Um, so yeah, go ahead and like my Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Luke C in a HGV. It's nice and easy to remember. Um, and I'm always uploading pictures. I uploaded a picture today about the high winds and my body up in the air. You, you get to see all sorts of stuff and you get to see my face a little bit more if you like. <laughs> uh, every now and then I do do, a, do live videos. I, have, I don't do them that often, but I do do them. Uh, and essentially over there in the corner of the cab, I put my phone on. I, I'm not driving when I'm doing this, but I put my phone on, it's facing me. I press play, sit back in the driver's seat and drive to wherever I gotta go. When I get there, I stop it again. I don't interact with you, but you can just see what it is actually like to be me. So, if that interests you. Uh, and also, finally, before I go, I cannot remember your name, but yesterday, one of you guys come up to me while I was in Gloucester. So, if that was you, comment down below. I cannot remember what you said your name was, I'm really sorry. But it's really nice to meet you, mate. And uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. And, um, yeah, you, you said you've been watching now for about four or five months, so... Cheers, buddy. Thank you for that. Everybody else, thank you as well. And until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye. Fucking hell.